housing, and that, that is exactly how we see it. So the bigger markets, the bigger profit pools for us are in Northern Asia, and those were the markets which obviously went into this first. Actually, our first quarter results for the group overall was a top line that was up by 6%, which is one of the highest rates of increase we've actually had for a period of time, albeit that was strong very early in the quarter and understandably less strong in March. But I think as we look around the world now, there is clearly concern in Europe. There is significant concern in Middle East and Africa. I think our southern Asian markets are in the eye of the storm, but sort of seeing that there will be some light at the end of the tunnel over a period of time. Our northern Asian markets a little bit more positive. As you said, they went in earliest, they'll come out earliest. And um, we are certainly working very closely with them because if they can come out a bit quickly, that is incredibly good news for us as a group overall. Key issue going forward seems to be visibility around the level of credit impairment. And you raised the impairment charge for the first quarter to $956 million. As you look forward to Q2, Q3, what's your best guess as uh, what those numbers will look like? Yes, you're right. We have taken, obviously, as, as most banks will do, a much, much uh, increased impairment charge in the first quarter, <laughs> reflecting clearly what is going on externally. Um, I think that what, what will happen in the second and third quarter is going to be very dependent now upon a couple of things particularly. One is the rate of lifting of lockdown. Um, we are seeing that happening back to the previous point in Northern Asia already. Um, the more successful that is, the earlier that happens, the earlier economies get going, and the less there will be any um, big further impairments. But equally, the opposite applies. If the lockdowns take a very long time to lift off, then that will have an impact. And the other aspect of this is clearly the role that governments will play in supporting fragile businesses to the extent that there is support there and those businesses can get through a period of time. <clears throat> that will also um, improve the impairment outlook. So it is just genuinely really difficult to predict. It is very dependent upon external factors, and we will be, obviously, as we are today, monitoring it incredibly closely. Andy, very good morning to you. And I, look, I know there's very limited parallels between the airline sector and what you're trying to do at Standard Chartered, but I just thought Alex Cruz's statement, the CEO of BA yesterday, was damning for hopes of a second and third quarter recovery. He said that BA would take several years, several years to get up to 2019 levels in terms of passengers as well. Uh, and of course, they've given up on government support as well with the furlough scheme and just saying, look, we, we're going to have to get rid of uh, probably 28% of our workforce, a huge and devastating blow from one of the flagship companies of the UK economy as well. Do you think your third and fourth quarter estimates, and I know you've said it's very difficult to predict, we're just being way too optimistic here about economic levels recovering as quickly as possible? Um, I, I think it is just very difficult to do a comparison between the uh, aircraft sector and the banking sector. People clearly have changed their travel patterns uh, significantly over the last few weeks. But in, in reality for banks, most of the services we offer, um, you know, banking facilities, transfer of money, etc., are still very much in demand. So the issue for us, I think, will be less about top line. I mean, not, not nothing about top line, but less about the top line. It will be more about the sort of credit impairments and just how many businesses there are that find it difficult. Secondly, our business is particularly skewed to Northern Asia. So we do actually have the benefit that, as we said earlier, some of the markets that went into this earliest will come out of it earliest as well. So, again, a slightly different profile to that that some other sectors would have. It's clearly going to be a very tough second quarter. Hopefully we will see some lift off as we go progressively through the third and the fourth quarters, and that is the basis that we are working on.